The Child Labor Amendment is a proposed and still pending amendment to the United States Constitution that would specifically authorize Congress to regulate labor of persons under 18 years of age. The amendment was proposed in 1924 following Supreme Court rulings in 1918 and 1922 that federal laws regulating and taxing goods produced by employees under the ages of 14 and 16 were unconstitutional. The majority of the state governments ratified the amendment by the mid-1930s, however, it has not been ratified by the requisite three-fourths of the states according to Article 5 of the Constitution and none has ratified it since 1937. Interest in the amendment waned following the passage of the Fair Labor Standards Act of 1938, which implemented federal regulation of child labor with the Supreme Court's approval in 1941. The amendment was itself the subject of a 1939 Supreme Court decision, Coleman v. Miller 307 U.S. 433, regarding its putative expiration. As Congress did not set a time limit for its ratification, the amendment is still technically pending before the states. Ratification by an additional ten states would be necessary for this amendment to come into force. Topic. Text Section 1. The Congress shall have power to limit, regulate, and prohibit the labor of persons under 18 years of age. Section 2. The power of the several states is unimpaired by this article except that the operation of state laws shall be suspended to the extent necessary to give effect to legislation enacted by the Congress. Topic. Background With the Keating Owen Act of 1916, the United States Congress had attempted to regulate interstate commerce involving goods produced by employees under the ages of 14 or 16, depending on the type of work. The Supreme Court found this law unconstitutional in Hammer v. Dagenhart 1918. Later that year, Congress attempted to levy a tax on businesses with employees under the ages of 14 or 16 again depending on the type of work, which was struck down by the Supreme Court in Bailey v. Drexel Furniture It became apparent that a constitutional amendment would be necessary for such legislation to overcome the Court's objections. Topic. Legislative history The amendment was offered by Ohio Republican Congressman Israel Moore Foster on April 26, 1924, during the 68th Congress, in the form of House Joint Resolution No. 184. House Joint Resolution No. 184 was adopted by the United States House of Representatives on April 26, 1924, with a vote of 297 yeas, 69 nays, 2 absent and 64 not voting. It was then adopted by the Senate on June 2, 1924, with a vote of 61 yeas, 23 nays and 12 not voting. And with that, the proposed constitutional amendment was submitted to the state legislatures for ratification pursuant to Article 5 of the Constitution. <laughs> ratification history Having been approved by Congress, the proposed amendment was sent to the state legislatures for ratification and was ratified by the following states Arkansas, June 28, 1924 California, January 8, 1925 Arizona, January 29, 1925 Wisconsin, February 25, 1925 Montana, February 11, 1927 Colorado, April 28, 1931 Oregon, January 31, 1933 Washington, February 3, 1933 
North Dakota, March 4, 1933 after state Senate rejection, January 28, 1925 Ohio, March 22, 1933 Michigan, May 10, 1933 New Hampshire, May 17, 1933 after rejection, March 18, 1925 New Jersey, June 12, 1933 Illinois, June 30, 1933 Oklahoma, July 5, 1933 Iowa, December 5, 1933 after State House rejection, March 11, 1925 West Virginia, December 12, 1933 Minnesota, December 14, 1933 after rejection, April 14, 1925 Maine, December 16, 1933 after rejection, April 10, 1925 Pennsylvania, December 21, 1933 after rejection, April 16, 1925 Wyoming, January 31, 1935 Utah, February 5, 1935 after rejection, February 4, 1925 Idaho, February 7, 1935 after State House rejection, February 7, 1925 Indiana, February 8, 1935 after State Senate rejection, February 5, 1925 and State House rejection, March 5, 1925 Kentucky, January 13, 1937 after rejection, March 24, 1926 Nevada, January 29, 1937 New Mexico, February 12, 1937 after rejection 1935 Kansas, February 25, 1937 after rejection, January 30, 1925 The following 15 state legislatures rejected the Child Labor Amendment and did not subsequently ratify it, Connecticut 1925, Delaware 1925, Florida 1925, Georgia 1924, Louisiana 1924, Maryland 1927, Massachusetts 1925, Missouri 1925, North Carolina 1924, South Carolina 1925, South Dakota 1925, 1933 and 1937, Tennessee 1925, Texas 1925, Vermont 1925, and Virginia 1926. Although the act, on the part of state legislatures, of rejecting a proposed constitutional amendment has no legal recognition, such action does have political ramifications. Of the 48 states in the Union in 1924, five have taken no action of record on the amendment, Alabama, Mississippi, Nebraska, New York and Rhode Island, neither have Alaska nor Hawaii, both of which became states in 1959. On March 15, 2018, a concurrent resolution numbered as a. 10,107 to belatedly ratify the Child Labor Amendment, was officially introduced in the New York Assembly, the «lower» House of the New York Legislature. It has thus far received no further consideration than to be referred to that chamber's Committee on Judiciary. Presently, there being 50 states in the Union, the amendment will remain inoperative unless it is ratified by an additional 10 states to reach the necessary threshold of 38 states. Judicial history Only five states adopted the amendment in the 1920s. Ten of the states initially balked, then re-examined their position during the 1930s and decided to ratify. These delayed decisions resulted in much controversy and resulted in the 1939 Supreme Court case Coleman v. Miller 307 US 433, in which it was determined that the Child Labor Amendment remained pending before the state legislatures because the 68th Congress did not specify any deadline. 
The ruling also formed the basis of the unusual and belated ratification of the 27th Amendment which was proposed by Congress in 1789 and ratified more than two centuries later in 1992 by the legislatures of at least three-fourths of the 50 states. The common legal opinion on federal child labor regulation reversed in the 1930s. Congress passed the Fair Labor Standards Act in 1938 regulating the employment of those under 16 or 18 years of age. The Supreme Court ruled unanimously in favor of that law in United States v. Darby Lumber Co., 1941, which overturned Hammer v. Dagenhart, one of the key decisions that had motivated the proponents of the Child Labor Amendment. After this shift, the amendment has been described as moot and lost the momentum that had once propelled it, hence, the movement for it has advanced no further. If ever ratified by the required number of U.S. state legislatures, the Child Labor Amendment would repose in the Congress of the United States shared jurisdiction with the states to legislate on the subject of child labor. Topic. Opposition In 1933 J. Gresham Mackin, who was a major voice at the time for evangelical fundamentalism and conservative politics, delivered a paper called Mountains and Why We Love Them, that was read before a group of ministers in Philadelphia on November 27, 1933. In passing he mentions the Child Labor Amendment and says, Will the so called Child Labor Amendment and other similar measures be adopted to the destruction of all the decencies and privacies of the home? See also List of amendments to the United States Constitution, amendments sent to the states, both ratified and unratified. List of proposed amendments to the United States Constitution, amendments proposed in Congress but never sent to the states for ratification. <laughs>